What up you fluffy bastards, my name is Liquid Blitz, and today we are going to look at the exact effects of the muzzle attachments for the weapons, which is the front attachment. We're just going to take a look, see which is best to use, see what they all do. Now this video is only for snipers, assault rifles, and SMGs. Uh, I might make a separate video on shotguns, so I'm not going to discuss the choke in this video. Anyway, as with all my videos, I'm not going to force you to watch something you don't want to watch, so, so here all the information is. Here it all is. I, I somehow managed to fit it all onto one screen. I'm so proud. The first thing that you need to know is that the muzzle attachments do much more than their in-game descriptions say, and some things are just misleading. I mean, that being said, there are some common effects on every weapon type, uh, and you can see these at the top. Let's start with the suppressors. For all weapon types, the suppressor gives a 5% reduction in deviation, which not many people know about. It's the extra inaccuracy added to so hip fire and third person shooting. That's something that almost no one knows, uh, but I do remember that one of the developers did say that this little effect is likely to change. The other common effects for all suppressors are, first of all, no muzzle flash. At all. Zero flash. Which, by the way, is better than the flash hider, which only reduces it. I mean, do you want to see proof? Look at this. Now, before making this video, I had no idea that, that this was the case. I thought it was the other way around. I thought the suppressor sort of just reduced the flash and the flash hider, the flash hider hid the flash completely. But nope, the, the, the suppressor removes all the flash and the flash, the, the flash hider basically just reduces it by like 75% or something. It all seems backwards to me. The suppressor also increases the size or the angle of the sound source, making it like much harder to pinpoint the origin of the gunshots. Now let's get a little bit more specific. For sniper rifles, the attenuation, or the distance away you will hear the gunshot, <laughs> fancy fancy, uh, is reduced from 1000 meters to 700 meters when you use a suppressor. Uh, for assault rifles, the suppressor will see the sound radius reduced from 700 meters all the way to 350 meters, which is fantastic. And, and SMGs are even better. Their sound radius reduces from 400 meters all the way to 100 meters, which uh, that makes them fantastic at uh, sort of all stages of the game, especially the final few circles where 100 meters makes all the difference. Oh, by the way, side note, pistols have the same sound distance as SMGs. Who knew? Anyway, let's move on to the compensator. Now, this is where the effects differ much more between different weapon types. Across the board for all types, the, the compensators reduce the overall recoil pattern by 25%, which is going to make it seem a lot less random and bouncy when firing automatic, uh, and also fast tapping semi-automatic. Now, specifically, for sniper rifles, the compensator reduces both horizontal and vertical recoil by 20% pretty good. But for assault rifles, they're a bit lower. They reduce the horizontal by 10%, the vertical recoil by 15%, and they also, a little added thing, uh, for assault rifles, they also reduce the base spread by 10%. And this means the spread from your first shot starts 10% more accurate. Um, I mean, this is, in my opinion, particularly useful for tap firing and burst firing. And finally, for SMGs, the numbers only go up. Compensators reduce the horizontal by 20, but the vertical by a whopping 25%. 25% less recoil is insane. Anyway, moving on to flash hiders. They are simple and have the same effect on all weapon types, which makes it nice and easy. Uh, as I said before, they reduce the muzzle flash, but don't eliminate it completely, which defeats the, the purpose of being called a flash hider, because it doesn't hide the fucking flash. They give a flat 10% reduction to the recoil pattern as well as vertical and horizontal recoil, so 10% across the board there. Anyway, that's it for the exact stats and effects of the muzzle attachments. Uh, now I'm going to quickly rattle off my recommendations, or at least uh, my choices uh, for the best attachment for every weapon, as you can see on the right. Everyone has different favourites, these are simply mine, and I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of you will agree with me. I like to look at things logically, so I mean, for example with the SMGs, I figure not all the time, but most of the time you use an SMG, you're at close range when the enemy usually knows you're there like you know they are there. So I don't feel like a suppressor is as useful at sort of very close range. Same with a flash hider. I'd rather throw on a compensator to make it as accurate as humanly possible. I mean, with a 25% vertical recoil reduction, it even turns like the UMP and the Vector into medi viable medium range options. Do not underestimate an Uzi with a compensator and a stock on it. That shit is crazy! 
The Tommy gun is the exception, as it can only equip the suppressor. Same with the Groza, by the way. Speaking of assault rifles, this is where everyone feels differently. Now, many of the very best players, I'm talking the best of the best, don't actually use suppressors for a variety of reasons, uh, including uh, th they want the much better accuracy of a compensator, that goes without saying, but a lot of them actually want people to know they are there so that they can counter kill them and, and just loot them. And there's a few other reasons. But for the rest of us who don't have the skill required to just insta-kill everyone and win the game with like 25 plus kills, the, the, the suppressor is honestly useful in every single situation. So generally for assault rifles, I prefer using a suppressor, but the compensator is honestly a close second. I love throwing on a compensator because I love that accuracy. For the AKM, however, the compensator is the only way to go. I mean, the, the AK is notoriously sort of inaccurate and, and bouncy as all hell, so I, I, honestly, I personally find it useless without a compensator. In fact, just for the recoil reduction, I would actually choose the flash hider over suppressor, specifically for the AKM. Anyway, moving on, finally we have the sniper rifles. Now, I have a big point I want to make here, and not everyone sort of seems to... It's kind of obvious, but not everyone thinks about it. With the three bolt action rifles, recoil doesn't matter one bit. In other words, the compensator is useless, as is the recoil reduction of the flash hider. So, so all that matters for the Car 98, the M24, and the AWM is, on one hand, the, the suppression and no flash from a suppressor, uh, versus basically the, the reduced flash from a flash hider. I mean, it's it's a no-brainer. Clearly, the, the suppressor is 100% better in every way. I, even with hiding the flash, it's better, which I still don't understand. So, go with suppressor for bolt-action rifles every time if you have the choice. The EBRs and DMRs are a different story, though. The, the, the SKS, especially, I, I, it needs reduced recoil, in my opinion. I hate an SKS without a compensator. I really do. The same goes for the Mark 14 EBR from the care package, but not as bad as the SKS. The Mini 14, on the other hand, is is far more accurate. So, I'm for the Mini 14, I'm I'm sort of split 50/50 between suppressor and compensator. I can find both and honestly not make up my mind which to use. They're sort of they're, they're useful in different circumstances, so I leave that one up to personal choice. So that's it. I mean, I only ever use the flash hider as a temporary until I can find a compensator or a suppressor. Uh, I mean, that being said, the, the flash hider isn't bad in and of itself. So to conclude this whole video, my rule of thumb, basically, thumb, my rule of thumb is if you find a specific weapon accurate enough, then go with a suppressor. But if you feel like, uh, like a given weapon is particularly bouncy and the recoil is just uncontrollable, maybe go with a compensator instead. And until you find one of those two, just use the much more common flash hider. I hope you found this video even remotely useful. Like this video if you liked it, like this video if you didn't like it. Subscribe if you want to see more similar content. I live stream every day on Twitch, so why not click the link in the description to go and follow me over on Twitch. And I shall catch all you guys in the next video. Liquid Blitz, out!